Alright guys, this kind of like pisses me off, but this is my last reaction of the day. Maui fire victims face aggressive land offers. Maui fire victims are taking to social media calling- Like guys. They're just trying to capitalize on uh, so they can build some land. Like, they're not getting existence. They're getting offers to sell the property, which pro may not be the best thing. Like, come on now. Out investors and real estate agencies who are offering to buy their land just days after wildfires burned down their homes. Like, your house just burned down. They're offering you some money. They're probably going to take it. I mean, I would probably take it an offer as well but it's just like you know why not offer like make sure they're okay first instead of just like offering to buy the land so you can make a bunch of profit guys like come on now they they better be offering some uh, really good money man like for sure fox 26 news reporter sophia lesios is here now to explain why hawaiians are furious with companies who they say are preying on them following the tragedy sophia Liz, many Hawaiian natives are advocating online and encouraging homeowners to not sell their properties to companies. And instead, they're telling people to gather as much information as they can to shame blast real estate agents on social media. Hey, bro, like, like they, they don't have no property they can sleep in. They might be sleeping like in a motel or something for a while, but I, I don't know where they're sleeping exactly, man. The death toll has ri risen to over 100 now, and they're... These realtors are just trying to, you know, come up on a bag, bro. Please don't leave. We're going to figure this out. Many Hawaiian natives, including... Dude, seriously, Lord, man, that, that's a, it looks like an apocalypse, man. Like ...have been advocating for Maui natives since the beginning of the devastating wildfires. Like, th this is terrible, bro. She's furious. It's the hardest to contain in Hawaii because, like, even though there's water everywhere, it's just, like, remotely, like, all so far away from the U.S., you know what I mean? It's not like, uh, you know, they can get assistance from all the other states because it's just so far away, man. And, and that kind of sucks, bro. It really does. Not kind of. It's just terrible, man. Can't believe this, bro. Companies who are now reaching out, offering to buy native land. How dare you do that to our community right now? Lawrence says she's heard from multiple families who were contacted by agents in the last week. It's so sad, bro. It really is. Shame on you. Shame on you. If you are a Maui realtor contributing to that, karma's going to come and get you. Hawaii's history isn't that pretty. As I've seen videos of them just like being in the water because that, that's the safest place they could go. Uh, um, because the whole island is like burning and stuff, man. With the United States. According to the National Park Service, in the late 18th century, the islands of Hawaii were converted to Christianity. And missionaries eventually dominated the financial and business aspects of the Hawaiian community. Leading... Sad, bro, sad. ...to an almost complete cultural transformation. Now it's worrying natives, this might happen again. You guys gotta stay, especially you multi-generational families. Don't move away. We, we've we already been displaced so much. Do like, come on, sh show them some sympathy, man. And, uh, you know, offer to help out instead of this, guys, right? There's better ways they can help out than offering to buy the land. Do not let this push you away to moving away. Like, we're going to move back home and we're going to rebuild. Hawaii governor. Yeah, they should. Uh, we should get, like, the government to, like, actually rebuild their homes. Not for them to sell their property, guys. Like, these these places should be rebuilt, man. Josh Green addressed this particular issue in a news conference Monday stating he already reached out to the Attorney General to explore options for a moratorium on sales of properties that have been damaged or destroyed. I would caution people that it's going to be a very long time before any growth or housing can be built. And so you will be pretty... And you said very long, bro. That's sad, man. ...be poorly informed if you try to steal land from our people and then 
build here. Lawrence has created okay, yeah. an Instagram page for people to donate directly to families impacted. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, good idea, good idea. Only Venmo, it seems. By the fires. But that's still awesome. I know it's hard and like it might it may feel a lot easier to just want to move to the continent, but we cannot keep displacing our people. We need to make sure you guys can go back home. According to the Office of Hawaii Governors Josh Green, there is now a relief available for homeowners impacted by the wildfires. Borrowers with Freddie Mac or Franny Mae mortgage loan will receive an automatic 90-day forbearance. This means no parent, no payment, excuse me, will be due for at least 90 days. And this is automatic, so no contact with the mortgage servicers are necessary. You can find more information about that on our website at K Like, the government should be helping out here, guys. Like, more than the, the $700, in my opinion, that Joe Biden has. Yeah, but yeah, so good discussing why they why they would do that. People lost lives, I know, right? And their whole families, and they're just getting like offers. These vul these vultures are just like, come on, realtors, you gotta do better than that. You're already r jacking up the rent prices everywhere. Yeah, guys, that's our video. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next one. Later, guys. Also, no hate on realtors. I'm sorry. I'm just angry of uh, about this. Later.